What's up everybody, it's Jerry with my vlog for April 13th. Some pretty cool things happened today. So, I wake up, take my sister to school. I think I did that, yeah, I took him to school. I get home, watch a bunch of TV, eat some hot wings until like 10 o'clock. Then I leave for American Idol. I went to go watch it um, live. I went to the rehearsal version, so, because the guy who gets us in, the camera guy, if, if you guys know what a uh, boom camera is, it's basically the camera that has like a long arm with the camera on it, and that's what he does. Um, his name is, I think, Alex Hernandez. Anyways, he's on the left side of the, um, of the stage, so anytime you see like a huge, like a high angle from the left you know, panning in or something, that's him. Anyways, he can only get two tickets for the live show, but he can get, like, six tickets, like, four or five tickets for the, uh, rehearsal. So anyway, we always go to the rehearsal, which is a lot more fun, because, you know, all the, everyone's just chillax, you know, just messing around, Ryan's busting jokes left and right, and they just play it around. Anyways, and they, and they use some of those shots in the, uh, on TV, like in the recap and stuff. Anyways, so I did that. It was really cool. Um, so yeah, I watched American Idol. Um, got, well, since I was let in by a staff worker, and I didn't have to win tickets or anything, we got VIP, which um, basically you get like this wristband. I should probably take it off now, but anyway, if you have this wristband, you go in like first and um, you get like the best seats. But um, the camera guy, Alex, he actually saved us like the best seats, which is pretty pretty cool. He always saves us those seats. This is like my third time going. I usually go every year. So, anyways, um, ugh. It's starting to get annoying now. Anyways, um, so that's what we did. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, let me see. After the show, like if you don't know anything about um rehearsal versions of TV, they usually have, like, dummy versions of the celebrities, at, like, the hosts and stuff. Ryan Seacrest really does um, go in there and, you know, practice and rehearse and stuff. But the judges, they don't. They, um, they have dummy judges that look exactly like them from behind. So, I mean, the real judges weren't in there. Which leads me to my next point. After the rehearsal version, we were outside, you know, talking to some of the staff, the, my neighbor who took us, <clears throat> knows some other workers there so he was just talking and as they were talking I see this like 500,000 or 750,000 dollar car rolling up and I, and I already know okay that's Simon <laughs> so I'm like hey mom check it out there's Simon you know and we look and there's Simon driving his car he parks and goes into his huge trailer which is like it the thing's huge it has like glass windows all the way around it it's just an amazing trailer I would have taken pictures and everything, but uh, phones and cameras are not allowed in. So, I mean, I couldn't really do anything about that. We had a, before you even go in, you have to go through metal detectors, take all your stuff out, and then after the show, you pick it all up. And um, we have, we've had experience with that, and it just sucks having to wait in line after the show to get all your stuff. So, um, we basically left all our electronics in the car. Anyways. So I saw Simon um, after that. Well, we saw, you know, you just see celebrities walking around over there sometimes, like a whole bunch of dancing with the stars dancers and stuff. A um, bunch of, like, CBS crew. Um, mm hmm. So it was fun. And then um, we stopped at the Cheesecake Factory, which I've never been to before. And since I don't like cheesecake, or at least I haven't found the best one, uh, or one that's to my liking, uh, I just ordered a hamburger from there, which was actually really, really good. Oh, man. And I forgot it in the car. <sighs> Dang it. Man. Maybe it'll still be good. No, I don't think so. It's really like... It's been like four hours. Anyways, so I got some. Uh, I got a hamburger from there. 
right across the street was an Apple store, and I was like, this is the perfect time for me to go play with an iPad. So um, I went to the Apple store with my neighbor and my mom, and you know, if you've ever been to the Apple store with like family, it's just so awkward going, because you know, you know they're not really interested in any of that, and you're the only one that could stay there for like hours and hours on end. And you know, I just didn't feel like comfortable while my company was having like a boring time, you know, they weren't having a fun time. So I kind of just brushed through it and everything. The experience was amazing from what I uh, did, you know. I messed with Safari. I played with Safari. The uh, It was just so smooth, so fast. Amazing experience. Um, I also played a few games. I um, went through photo albums. I basically went through everything but in a breeze. Like really fast because you know I know I know my my um, guests or what is the company they weren't having a good time there they're like so I don't understand it what's the iPad about I don't get it I was like Ugh. all right let's just go <laughs> so anyways yep um to so we got home a few hours later so I left my house at about ten got home at like eight to eight thirty at night so it was a long day but it didn't seem that long now it's finally catching up to me. Anyways, I get home, and my whiteboard arrived. Yay! So I got my whiteboard, and if you guys want to see some of the things that are on my to-do list, okay. Um, video blog, read some tech news. I need to do an ABAS scan, reply to channel comments, cash create messages, post an info blog, enter all giveaways, uh, reading logs, vocab tests, study, uh, work on a logo for a friend, my dad's friend, uh, senior scrapbook, college sign-up, FAFSA update, assessment test sign-up. And then this is like my morning, what I do every morning. So, anyways. You know, that's pretty cool. I have a bunch of, you know, markers and stuff. The eraser, some of that stuff. And then over here, I have more markers. Anyways, so... Um, that got there today. That's basically all I did. The iPad, um, the tracking said it would come April 14th, which is tomorrow. Today, it got updated to April 15th, which is Thursday. It's currently in Hong Kong, and I'm like, oh, man. I want it to come as fast as possible so I can put it on eBay as fast as possible so um, I can get more money for it from international users. Right now they're paying like, it's worth 500 and they're paying like 550 to 600 plus for the Wi-Fi version 16 gigabyte. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to make some money off of it and put that towards the 3G version. So, um, yeah, I, I asked, in case you're wondering, you know, I'm not, I'm not being a total jerk to Deals Plus, no. I asked Deals Plus, Deals Plus, hey, can, can, is there any way that you can send me a $499 Apple gift card instead of the iPad and they replied saying you know what we already sent the order in sorry we can't cancel it try to send it back to Apple try to give it back to Apple and say hey I want some store credit I called up Apple and they said you would have to send it back to the online store since you're getting it shipped to you from the online store the billing information is to deals plus you know to the person who bought it from deals plus if I sent it back to the apps, I mean, Apple Store online, they'd get the refund, and I wouldn't get any credit out of it, you know. they just get their money back, and I'm left out with nothing, you know. So that's why um, I'm taking, basically, Deals Plus's advice and try to get some money for it so I can get the 3G version. So I can't wait till I get it, um, just so I can put it up on auction. And we'll see how that goes. Okay? Um... They don't have anything else to say. Mm. Yep. Okay, so question of the day. Do you like cheesecake? Have you ever tasted cheesecake? What is your favorite kind of cheesecake? I don't like cheesecake. <laughs> um, I guess a lot of people know about it, so. Have you ever heard of cheesecake? And if you do, if you have, what is your favorite kind? Alright, thank you for watching, guys. Peace.